This is our guide to what to do in terms of workflow. You filmed your footage on the camera and you want to get it into a computer so you can edit it. Now at UWS, we've got a number of labs where you're able to edit using a package such as Final Cut. So the first thing to do is to come to one of our labs and find the machine that's not in use. Now, uh, for this demo, I'm using uh, Final Cut X or Final Cut 10 if you prefer, um, and that is available in Lab 4 on the fourth floor, uh, fourth floor of the AIR campus. So to open up Final Cut, just click on the Final Cut icon on the dock at the bottom or at the side of the screen and it should start. If you can't find that, then the other way to open it up is by clicking on the little magnifying glass at the top right hand corner and typing in Final Cut. As you can see it appears. Final Cut should open up and perhaps there's another student's project active. Now we don't want to touch that in any way. Um, so straight away let's import our footage into the computer. So obviously take it, we take the card out of the camera. Next, slot the CF card into the card reader. It should be fairly obvious which slot is for the CF card. As you can see, there's space for a few different types of card. Now it's likely at this point a new screen will pop up with all the clips showing here. Now we'll assume that we want to import all of them, so don't click on any of the clips and select Import All. If you have selected any of the clips, then this button may just say Import Selected. If that has happened, then just make sure that they're all selected and click on the button. Next up will pop another screen that will allow us to name the event that the footage is part of. The simplest way to explain an event in Final Cut is that it's a collection of files, like these ones that we're importing. And one of the good things about it is that it allows us to give it a name that make it easy to find. So let's give this a name that's going to make it easy to find. We've got the option to either add to an existing event, which you can see here, which obviously belongs to someone else, so I'm not going to touch that or create a new event, which is clearly what I want to do. So let's create a new one. So I'll select that. I'll also give it a name around Air Campus. Okay. Now I want to select where it's saved to. I've got three choices. I've got the Macintosh HD, I've got the media drive, or I've got my own external hard drive Jamie's two terabytes. And that's the drive that I plugged in earlier on. I'm going to use my own drive, and there's a couple of reasons for that. Firstly, I can take this drive anywhere. So that means if I was to come in tomorrow and someone else is using this machine, then it's no problem. I can go and move to a different one. If I had to just stick, stick to this machine and someone was using it, then I might have a problem, especially if I've got a hand-in deadline coming up. So very important that you use your own drive. Another reason is that I can take this home and I can back it up to another computer. Um, and as I said before, this, these computers are used by, by several different uh, students uh, and we can sometimes see their work. Uh, and it could be the case that someone could come in after you and if you've saved this to the computer, your footage to the computer, then it could be the case that somebody could quite by accident delete your stuff uh, which, if, again, if you've got a deadline coming up or you've put a lot of hard work into getting footage which you ultimately lose because of maybe someone else uh, didn't really know what they were doing or they were careless, um, then that's obviously a, a real problem um, because, you know, if you've put in the hard work, then really you want to, to keep it and, and make sure that the footage is safe. You've already done so much work to it. You know, we've had it in the past where people have come in, uh, they've worked hard, they've got great shots, they've put the footage in, they've put some hard work in editing, and then they've ultimately lost their footage. Um, and it's pretty upsetting, to be honest with you. Um, but when it happens, there's nothing that anybody here can do to help. Uh, the footage is gone and there's no way of getting it back. So really, you've got to back it up to yourself. I cannot stress that highly enough. 
uh, to you. Uh, you know, this drive maybe costs 60, 70 pounds, uh, plenty of space on it. You, you don't even necessarily need to spend that much. You could spend 30 or 40 pounds, get yourself a hard drive, and then you can carry it and you can be responsible for your own footage and you can keep it maybe in several different places so that if something goes wrong, you've got a backup, you know, you've got a plan B. Um, I, as I say, I cannot stress that highly enough. If you don't have a drive, then the other place to save it is the media drive, which we can see here. Please don't save anything to the Macintosh hard drive, as this slows up the computer and everyone that uses it. As you can see in this particular computer, there's only 1.6 gigabytes, which um, is a fraction of one of the CF cards that I've been using. So please don't, please don't save anything to that. And say the media drive, if you wish to use it, well, it's there, you can use it. But as I say, I strongly recommend you use your own drive. So that's what I'm going to use. Once you've selected a drive and you've given the event the appropriate name, then all you have to do is to click on import. Now, to import your footage will take a little bit of time. And you can see the little clock going round here as the footage imports. Seven items, so that's not too much actually, I haven't really done much filming today, but it'll take a little bit of time for them all to go in. If you've been filming say for maybe an hour or more than an hour, uh, if you've filled up the card then it will generally take a lot longer. We can close this little window here and we can also check on how things are important by looking at the window up here, clicking down and checking background tasks. And as you can see, there's nothing. So everything's been imported now. So it didn't take too long. That's generally because I didn't have too much, there wasn't too many, too much footage on it. And as we can see down this side here, we've got all the events. So we've got one here, AGM video. So I don't really know what that's about. So it's not mine anyway, so I won't worry about it or go anywhere near it. This is mine here, this is what I want to look at. Under Jamie's two terabytes, we've got around Air Campus, and that's the event I want to use. Once the footage is in, then we can, uh, we might want to scroll through it all, just to check that it's all in a good working order. We've got everything we need. Maybe just say hit, hit on them and just go through them just to check it's all fine. So it all seems okay. Once the footage is in, we might want to then start a new project so that we can uh, to set ourselves up to edit this particular footage. So again, we've got the default event here, uh, and that is the Around Air Campus, which I've, uh, which I've done. Uh, I'm gonna give the, the project a name, which probably again, I'll just call Around Air Campus. I'll click okay. What this also means is that once we've got the footage in and we're satisfied that it's okay, then what we can do is return the CF card to the camera. And that will initial then we can initialize the camera, wipe it off the footage, and that means that it's ready to be returned to uh, to the to the storeroom um, and it's ready for someone else to use. Before we do that though, let's just to be absolutely sure our footage is fine before we delete it from the card. Uh, and to do that, what we want to do is to eject the card from the computer and then watch the footage back with no card in the computer to check that it works okay. So what we might want to do first of all is to quit Final Cut. The reason we're doing this is that we often can't eject the card because the computer still considers that the card is being used by Final Cut, so we won't eject. So we'll just go up to the Final Cut menu and select Quit Final Cut. Next we want to eject the CF card. So go to the desktop, click on Canon XF and drag it down to the trash can. Now that we've ejected the card, we can actually just take it out of the card reader. Put it back in the camera.
and we can initialize it in a minute once we've checked that the card, uh, the footage is okay. So we'll open up Final Cut again. When it opens, you'll see a list of events down the left under Event Library. And you should find the one that you've just put in. So there we have Event Library, and we've got Around Air Campus. You'll see everything's arranged by the date you filmed it on. As, as, as I filmed everything on the same day, there's only one date, but had I done more than that, then you would have seen them all appearing here. So I can click on that, all the clips are here. I want to check that they're all working. So again, I'll just do a quick scan through them all. That all seems to be fine. Once you're happy that all the footage is working fine and you've got it in the machine, no problem, then you can just turn the camera on and initialize it as we showed you in the last video. Hand it back to the storeroom and get on with editing your project. Have fun.